Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We continue boarding flight UPP 322, destined to Godley Heights Spiritual International Airport. At this time, we invite all remaining passengers, all remaining passengers, if you haven't cleared with security as yet, you're invited to do so now and to make your way for departure for flight UPP 322, destined to Godly Heights Spiritual International Airport. <laughs> Yes, good morning, ma'am. Could you produce your passport for checking in, please? Any phones or electronic devices, ma'am? No. Just step back from this camera, please. Thank you. Let's see body pass, please. Thank you. Passenger Moore, Grant Moore. Step forward, please, miss. Step back, please, miss. I'm not sure, but I think we need to take you into a room, have a physical search. We need to check your bags because something isn't right at this time. The bag, the continent, the continents are in your bag. You pack the bag, right? Of course. So you're sure. responsible for you're responsible for everything that is in your bag. Certainly. Alright, we need to take you to a room at this time. Ah. Mama, the reason why we brought you in this room because we are of the opinion that there are items in your possession that are not allowed on our flight. So we need to do a physical examination plus check your bags to make sure that there's no items that are not allowed on our flight. So please, ma'am, put your bag on the desk. Morning, ma'am. Good morning again. Yes, ma'am. Could you just step forward and... Just lift your hands away from your side. The officer will come down. I know where that's supposed to be. Thank you, ma'am. What is this, ma'am? This is my medication prescribed by the doctor. Mind enhancement loss? Mom, you're not allowed to travel this on our aircraft. Like Come you know on. Oh. Turn around, please, ma'am. All right, so you could put on your hands now, please. Stop on that side. Morning again, ma'am. My name is Officer George. 
we uh, conduct a search of your bank. Did you pack this bag this morning yourself? I told you all that before. It has not changed. Okay, ma'am. Could you open the bag for me, please? Well, if you want to search it, why you open it? If you have taken your time. Ma'am, does your bag have anything that will become harmful to me? No. I'm, I'm a custom traveling, you know. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, is this yours? Yes, it is. You carry pure heat? We cannot afford pure heat on our airlines. You know, Manuel in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12, our captain encouraged us to put on the bowels of mercy, kindness, forgiveness. This is not a quality that we encourage on our airlines. This can hamper our flight and the quality of service that is provided. This has to be put away. Ma'am, this is yours as well? Well, of course, you take it out of my bag, do Mr. George. Officer George, please. Officer George. Ma'am? This like. is within the required dosage that we're allowed to take. Yes, ma'am, but I'm sorry to tell you, with this, using this particular body mist... You never smell it. That's true. At least I haven't smelled it in a long time. But ma'am, this unforgiveness cannot be allowed on our airline. The heavenly airline clearly states that we are supposed to have forgiveness. We ought to forbear and forgive each other. This cannot go on our flight as well. This will corrupt our passengers. It will affect the quality of our flight. Our captain spoke about this. This has to be confiscated and taken away. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, was this prescribed to you? Of course. Ma'am, we need to be careful who prescribes medication and assistance to you. Our captain says in our manual that let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. It also says, how can a young man cleanse his way? But by taking heed to the word of God. That's the only medication we need to enhance our mind. This has to be done away with. I hope you're packing it back when it does dig it up. Ma'am, is this your cream? That could only give me some lotion and some moisture to my skin. Yes, ma'am. But you see, your skin, your skin is so important because this is your protective layer. We do not need this to protect us. Our captain has given us a, a very... Well, I very... really don't care. Yes, this is me. Don't care. Yes. No shot. And this is the thing. We are, to, we are supposed to be care, caring for each other. This is what our captain has encouraged us to do. It says that we ought to esteem each other higher than ourselves. So we must care about each other. As a matter of fact, if our captain did not care for us, as he said in part of the manual in John chapter 3 and verse 16, because he cared for us, he gave his life for us so that we can now care for others. You rarely know the manual. Like you learn it from well, beginning to end. Well, ma'am, we are all employees and all servants of our captain in this capacity. So, as it is right now, miss, you will not be able to travel with these items in your possession. They will have to be taken away and destroyed. Do you understand? I take them away? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. All right. Since I want to go on this up airline here, and it's the first of its kind and the only one, I want to hold on to them things. As a matter of fact, ma'am, we won't be holding on to them. We are giving them to our captain for him to destroy. Because we do not want anything to affect us or you in the future. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I need to catch my flight. My bag was the last morning call, so are you done with me? Yes, ma'am. We would ensure that you make your flight. So nobody has another check of anything else. I can go on with what I have here, only clothes. You can go on with that. Thank you. Enjoy your flight, ma'am. Thank you. Are we again a copy of the manual then? Eh? Because will. I need to ensure I know what I need to carry on. Very well. The captain and the co-pilot who is here today, you just have to listen up and he will give you the instructions to enable you to be a very good passenger on the heavenly airlines. Okay. Enjoy your flight, ma'am. 
Thank you. This week. Spiritual elevation regulation requires that passengers comply to the biblical information that has been given to you. We know that some of you pray and fast frequently and to reinforce what you already know and enable those around you to hear or buy the procedures, we ask that you give us your full attention. Please fasten your prayer bells now. To do this, Insert an abundance of praise into your heart. Pull on the loose ends of your prayer life to tighten. In preparation to take off, bring your heart in the upright position. Open your mind and put all commands down. Please observe your prayer belt and move sit side. Cell phones must not be used at this time. Counselors are clearly identified in an aisle next to you. There are two counselors at the back and two at the front. Look around now and locate the counselor that is closest to you. Look carefully for the closest counselor who may be behind you. With the loss of spiritual power or a weak and feeble body, these counselors will illuminate, leading you to Jesus Christ. Pay special attention to the prayer position you may be required to adopt in the event of an emergency. Your spiritual armor is stored in Ephesians 6 in your Bible. Should you need to use it, remove it from your storage, open it and place it on your spiritual body. We are pleased to offer you a no sin environment. Sin is strictly prohibited on board. All passengers must observe the new sin sign. Once the safety checks have been completed, we will be turning up the praise in the cabin. This is a normal procedure during our flight. Safety checks will now be carried out. Thank you for your attention and do enjoy your flight with us. I'm gonna dance and pray. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what comes. The greater word. I say His name, His name, His name is He. Said I'm gonna win and I'm more than victorious. I'm an heir of His kingdom. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Rejoice, rejoice. I rejoice in Him. I rejoice in Him. I rejoice. I'm more than a conqueror. I rejoice. I rejoice. I rejoice. I rejoice. Cause I'm more than a conqueror. Set no weapon form. No weapon formed against me shall ever prosper. The greater one lives in time. Say his name, his name, his name is Jesus. I'm born a winner, and I'm more than victorious. I'm an heir of his kingdom, and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I rejoice, I rejoice in Him. I rejoice in Him. 
I rejoice in more than, more than I rejoice, I rejoice in I rejoice in I rejoice more than a conqueror We are more than conquerors We are more than conquerors We are more than victorious 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 We are more than I rejoice, I rejoice, I rejoice I rejoice in Him I rejoice in Him I rejoice in more than a conqueror I rejoice, I rejoice in I rejoice, I rejoice, rejoice in more than a conqueror I rejoice, I rejoice in I rejoice I rejoice in Him more than a conqueror. Miss, um, my ticket stop says 60, and the seat that you're in is 6D, so you're in my seat. Could you go to another seat, please? Miss, that is beside the point. The point is, you're in my seat. Where's your ticket stop? Where's your ticket stop? I don't understand why you're in my seat. Excuse me, excuse me. Is there a problem here? There is no problem. This is like a Okay, ma'am, that is not called for. That is not called for. So what is called for, ma'am? Okay, so I'm here to alleviate this situation. Please, can you get my Okay. May I see your boarding pass? Okay, all right. Have you seen it? May I have it? Is that okay? May I have your boarding pass as well, please, ma'am? Thank you yeah, so very much. All right, so I'm just going to take her aside, and we're going to get this sorted out, okay? Please, take her with you, please. And I appreciate your patience. Thank you so much. Come this way, please. Mom, would you come this way with me, please? Stand by. Good night. Please. You're blocking the eye. Mom, do you realize the flight that you're on? Yes, yes. Are you sure? For special people only. Well, I'm not sure that you're demonstrating the fruits of the spirit that takes you on this flight and to the destination that we're going to. No one moment, please. Thank you. Mom, just hold on a moment, please. Huh? I appreciate your patience so much. Thank you. Mr. Officer, would you kindly assist me with the situation that we have here? It would seem that there was an error in one of these tickets. Okay, ma'am. So we're going to seat you shortly, right? Just bear with us a little, please. Thank you so much. Ma'am. <laughs> so it would seem that there was definitely an error, right? So we and, need to about seven. Okay. So unfortunately, I think the error might be you. <laughs> Right? I'm not sure how you got this boarding pass, but it seems that some shortcuts were taken. And in this flight in particular, to go to this particular destination that we are going to, it would seem that the fruits of your spirit are not right for it. 
So you need to make your election and calling sure the next time you decide to take some shortcuts because there are definitely no shortcuts to our destination. So if you don't mind. This one is so cool. You're ready to talk to your guy going? Please. Well, ma'am, I'm not sure about that. Hold on. You will take the supper nice Okay, okay, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. I don't want to go a pilot will definitely take you where you need to go. With Kia? They have to decide this damn thing. They have to decide this damn thing. They have to demonstrate. And they will have to decide what you did. Alright? It's definitely demonstrative of the fruits of the spirit. And we trust that you will definitely enjoy your flight with us. Thank you. Morning, everybody. How are you all? I want to say thank you very much for the invitation to come and chat and to encourage you all. Thank you very much the leadership and God continue to bless you and increase you and multiply you. And I pray that this session will just be added to your destination because you're going somewhere. Anybody here going somewhere? Yeah. Tell the person next to you, if you don't know where you are going, any vehicle will take you there. That making sense? That making sense? They say no. If you don't know where you're going, then any vehicle will take you anywhere. So you better know where you're going. Because if you're going to Scarborough, you know you're going to Scarborough. But well, if you don't know you're going to Scarborough and jump in one car, you say, anywhere! Anywhere! And next thing you see on TV, shop up so. You know, and somebody had your heart beating in their body and their kidneys in their child's body. You know where I'm coming from? Because you're going anywhere. Praise the Lord. God is good, so you heard a lot about me. In case you forget, my name is Raymond O'Keel. They gave me a title um, before that as a pastor and stuff, but I'm Raymond O'Keel. I'm really cool, right? Yes? Um, so let's pray. Father, we thank you for your love and for your goodness. Thank you, oh God. We'll have a good time, oh God. 45 minutes of this flight. It may have some turbulence or so. God, Father, we pray that it have no delay. And God, Father, we have smooth landing so far. We have taken off and we thank you, oh God, Father, for beautiful weather. It's a bit chilly up in here, but Lord, I pray that the warmth of your love from the inside will cause us to feel comfortable. Lord, we declare, God, that for every foul spirit that may try to affect this aircraft, we rebuke it, we pull it down, we nullify the plans of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Father, every air pocket that may cause the air to become stuffy, oh God, that they will not hear. Lord, Father, we shut down that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so, God, we continue to thank you that your spirit is here, oh God, and he's here to liberate us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So this first, um, this first segment and stuff like that, I have about 50 US to give away. 50 US. I don't make joke. The second segment I won thousand dollars. Wait now. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you this. And you're gonna tell me collectively. Alright. Alright, so quickly, here we're gonna do. Each one of you, maybe you ain't certain yet, but you're getting there, you will share with your group that dream of yours, that thing, that what you want to be. Not what your parents, not what the elders feel that you should be. And listen, make sure it's positive, right? Don't go be no go-go dancer and them kind of thing, you know? You know? I know that's tempting, right? We go work out that. Don't go go to a kid in no club and them kind of thing. That, that's not the best dream to have, right? Hello, Chimney, Church. Church girls, is that a kind of dream or no? Yes. Yes? Some of them watch real YouTube and stuff. What's this song? Something like, ah, I'm fall along and run or pick up something and. Oh, you know that song? Real church people here, boy. Let's say no. All right, so quickly. It's very important, so we go with that one. Um, somebody started. Yeah, just, uh, just say, listen, I want to be, or I'm going to be. 
Can I tell you what I, I want to be? That's not good enough. That is when you give me room for excuse. I'm going to be. Then I'm going to take some. Right, and we'll go somewhere. Quickly! No, talk to your group. Talk to your group. No, you're going to be a multimillionaire. We're going to do sell drugs and stuff like that. Yeah? You're going to do human trafficking. Then you're going to be a multimillionaire just like that. You just. Well, I apologize. You're going to be a multimillionaire. Just so? Are you going to get that? No, you're going to make that. You're going to make that. You have to be something to make that. Yeah, no, no, talk in your group. We don't have to hear that. Just make sure that you talk. You can talk all now. Don't listen to this group. You right. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't break down that. Go ahead. Just you just say it. Yeah. If you don't know the word, you look it up when you go home later. Let's go. Well, we shall have gone to the next point. <laughs> all the getting deep, all the writing on stuff and then. <laughs> all right, let's go. So every other group finish. This is almost the largest group here. I don't know how you're all sharing this. All right, so everybody have everybody idea. All right, so, so let's go with this slide. Thank you, please. All right, look at this carefully. Look at this slide carefully. Tell me what you are seeing. Now, I'm looking for one particular answer. If you get that, wow, I'll start you. So as an individual, you could get some monies, right? I'm not cheating in here, but I'll start you. Let me be a one US or five US if, if you get the answer I'm looking for. So, so, so do you? That's what? That's not, that's not, I can't hear everybody, so go ahead. See it, everybody say see it, pop your hand. Nice, nice, let's go. What again, what's the answer? So, so this one is for the individual, yeah, you have to get, you have to get this, this is very important. Like nuts and stuff, this group, eh? Huh? Say something. What are you seeing? I'm looking for a particular answer. If I get that, boom, I start you off. Who says seeds here? Like only you're alone, but anybody agree? Well, you don't have to agree. Is that is is for the individual point here? Let's go. What well, I'm the car and disqualified. <laughs> Quickly, nuts. Who say nuts? You are confidentially wrong, but um, that's just okay, right? So we are up in here, right? So we're gonna have some fun. Who say learning boring? All right, so so right, forget that. I didn't get it from the individual. So guess what? I want it from the group now. You have two minutes. Deliberate, discuss, deliberate, and decide. Write that down. Anybody have that? Discuss. Deliberate and decide. Huh? If you want. No, I'm looking for answer, and so far I ain't get the answer. All right, hear this now. Hear this now. Hear this. Discuss, deliberate, and decide. You have like two minutes to do that as a group. Let's go. Discuss, deliberate, and decide. All right, so let's go. Um. No, you don't tell me the ladies first. I'm control. I'm the pilot. What's wrong with you? All right, so, so you came first. Time up. Time up. Right, nice you. Um, I believe there's confusion there. Does it mean it doesn't have a purpose? Even though it looks confused? All right. All right, so from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing 
H. It, the top letter can say, Be with me. Be with me. Right? Um, if you're taking it more literal, it's a screen with a pity of beans with letters on top. That's what I see. So you've seen that literal thing there? Like I've seen see. it literally. That's a screen. Right. There's a picture. There's letters on top. If you want to make words out of the letters or something from the letters, it could be Be With Me. Um, the picture has beans, legumes. Be With Me. All right. <laughs> So what I saw is that all these seeds or beans have one thing in common. They can be planted and grow into something. Some may not grow into anything, but they all grow. They have potential to grow into something. But the letters, the only word I could get from it is time. And in time, they would eventually grow into something. But some of the letters, however, some of the letters don't have any use because they're not making any words just like some of the seeds they wouldn't go into anything so that's what our team decided on. I felt some church there what's going on I close my eyes spirit and all it disappear you up your pass where the person Come and give your answer. Something to confuse us. To confuse our path. So we make sure we wouldn't go there. That's it. Well said. Everybody put the hands together for yourselves. Um, and don't ever afraid. Be afraid. So you're seeing seeds, right? That's very important. Everybody, got, uh, I think, got that right across the board. I may not be the answer. This is critical. And I ask you to do an exercise. To do what? Tell what you're going to be. That's a part of the answer. Entry close. That's it. Because if you have to discover purpose, purpose, let me tell you this. It don't always have a straight line. But it's your gift we determine that. And because we live in a society, even us as a church, we have been impacted a certain way that some of us have some normal gifts that look abnormal because it's not mainstream. Yes? So majority of the time is that your parents or that caregiver will push you to what is mainstream. Or what is mainstream may not necessarily be your gift or your calling or your purpose. And I guarantee you, if that is not discovered, you will have fight in your house. You and your mother and your father and you will always be luck ahead. Because deep inside, you know very early there is a knowing there. Eh? We might not fully understand it. It may be confusing. But you are saying, okay, yes. I, I, there's a guy who went to school. He did all his subjects. And when he finished, he gave his father the subjects and said, Dad, I did this for you. Right? And he went on to do something else. And let me tell you, he's super successful. It's very important. So, roll this side. Let me see if you get it right. B. What do you think the B stands for? All right, so the B has to do with begin. It's very important. You have to start somewhere. That's why you have a seed. So you are a seed. And uh, you remember I said, you are the answer. So if you had just called your name, I would have given you the money. Because the seed there represents you. Yeah, too late. And she closed. Always remember this. So in the midst of all of that, you, you are uniquely poised. You have a purpose. The corn doesn't say to this one. And they, they, you, you see them seeds fighting up and stuff? They're just what? They're just there because why? 
They have purpose. And the corn ain't going to be trying to be like that one and this one trying to be like that. Very important. What do you think the W stands for? Wit. Brilliant. And the T. The. Brilliant. E. End. Brilliant. I. In. Brilliant. M. One more try. Begin. Say it with me. Mind. That is what it means. Begin with the end in mind. Very important. So that you now share that dream. You share what you want to become. That's just the beginning. Begin with what? Why is that, why, why that is very important? If you don't know where you are going, any vehicle will take you there. I have some stuff. I feel you can skip you. Give me the next, give me the next slide. What's the idea? The idea is behind what? What's the idea behind begin with the end in mind? It's based on what? On principles. What are the principles? Your ability to what? To to what? Envision in your? What you what? With your? It is very important that you have it here. If you don't have it there, so, so you know, everybody must know Kern Tyson? Well, he's visually impaired. He's still working 98. Uh, excellent, um, especially in terms of sports um, analysts. He was really, really good. We went cricket, and the ball hit the bat, and the ball six. The ball hit the bat, he said four. So I watched him, so like, you really blind? <laughs> but he's a guy who has vision. So you don't have to have eyes to have vision. If you can envision it, you're on your way. You're ready. It's critically important. Give me the next one there. I, I, and, and you feel free. I thought you'd have a little note pad and thing. I didn't know the nature of the arm. So that's why I did it. Design it like this. You can take a little note. Because that's very important. What's this? There is what? The mental creation. That's what we just talked about. You have to have it in your head. That is why it's very important that you control what comes into your mind. So there's something called gate. One is the air gate and the eye gate. So if what you look at, what you give yourself to eventually will what? Form a what? An image in your, in your mind, in your head. And that image will be transformed into what? Action, behavior. So you want to know something why you're very rude, crude, disrespectful and thing. And you, in your mind you say, but that is not really how I am. But somehow things come out of your mind. You find yourself doing some things that as young people who's supposed to be in church, you're not supposed to be doing. Amen? You find yourself, I don't know if majority of people are from church. All right. Well, the folks in church... Sometimes they're in school and they're not behaving like no church people. And those who don't go to church and you're here, you know some of them. Don't point them out. And some of you kind of shocked that you see them in the session. You're behaving like Patrick on SpongeBob. Oh, you're a Christian. <laughs> and some of you going to church, you're seeing your friends in here who you don't behave like church when you're outside. So you're afraid to even lift your hand and give God some worship. Maybe the folks who you're seeing in here who are not saved. If they weren't here, worship would have break out in here. I gave myself away. Okay, that matrix thing. But you're feeling bad. Because you're supposed to be a Christian. Love God. And some of you talking in tongues too. Some of you baptized. Some of you involved in ministry. But it's one thing in church and the next thing. Also. It's very important. But what's in your mind? Is matching with your actions. Very critical. So beginning with the mind is one thing here, but to cause it to manifest. Your conduct. Yes, and those who not save. Very important. 
that you manage what you're allowed to come in. Everybody know this? Majority of the young people, I don't know if it's a big over Trinidad. You know this language? This is a language. Recently I walked into a conference and one of the main speakers was terrified. He was petrified. He got all emotionally warmed up. So I'm like, because when they call my name, I wasn't just like this. If you see your address, you're shocked. And just before they call my name, I went, I went down some flight of steps. Watch everybody. So. And the man by the table going so. So when I, when I mentioned my name, I walked up to the, we had a, um, a panel discussion. When I reached there, I went close to him. And he was like, so what happened, bro? Yeah, American. He said, man, I, I thought you came to shoot up the place, man. I was really frightened. Only to find out that he was washing his car one day. And this guy passed by. And he told the guy, he said, hi, how are you? And um, the guy made the block and come back and ask him, do you just say hi to me? He said, yeah, I just hi to you. And the fellow pulled out a gun and shoot him six times. Language is important, right? So we, we have church folks, some of your folks not in church. This is a powerful language on the street. This could cause you to fall short of your potential. This means I'm strapped. Possibility I'm carrying a gun or have drugs, money, or have all of them. So you may leave from one place to go to the next place and don't understand that this is a very powerful language. And you find yourself in trouble. Because in other people's mind, this speaks a certain language. Anybody knew that? And some of us know that, right? Sometimes the folks in church may not know that. And it causes you to fall short of your potential. Not everything that comes out look like a style is good for you. You have to match everything according to your potential, according to your purpose. This is something I don't want to encourage our young people to be doing. So you must have so that you just shed what you want to be, what you're going to do. I want you to move it from your head and I want you to write it. Begin with what? The ending in mind. It's very important. I didn't know that the concept of a motivational speaker existed growing up. As a matter of fact, I saw real talk crap. I will tell you something as a girl and make you feel like a worm under the earth. You can tell yourself how pretty you are. I will find something and destroy you. I was anointed by the devil to destroy people. I will destroy your mother and your father. With my tongue, it was sharp. I was cruel, you know. I wouldn't tell you so many things I would say, you know. Because it's sticking our heads and next thing we go and say it. But I had an evil tongue. I will rile you up to get real big dung. But I didn't know. It had a thing on the block. Um, every two months, you had a vibe for a crown. So they call you lyrical king. Or the queen. And you have to beat somebody down. You have to say some of the worst things to them. Like some of you know what you do. Yeah. When I got saved, I heard about a man called Les Brown. A motivational speaker. So I went and I checked him up and I, I did share with somebody what I think I want to be. I wanted to be a radio announcer. But I just didn't have the qualification in the early days. I just didn't have what it took. I quit school very early. I got so frustrated at the system. Let me tell you this. And parents and elders, and you can record this. There are some of you, you were not designed for the system. And the system wasn't designed for you. I'm very, it's going to kill you. Some of you are frustrated. You're not a bad boy, you know. You're not a bad girl, you know. But well, you just don't know how to come and say, eh, eh, it's not working out in here. I, yeah, yes. 
They just don't know. But it's important that you communicate that. Let, let's try to jump it. We make any sense here? Yeah? We are now learning about systems of differently learning and listen to me, some of us, we way back when we should be more advanced. We more advanced than the system. The system backward, you know. This generation different. So the system struggling with you now because you can press buttons and learn. You can, you can open up a screen and connect with your purpose, connect with that inner dream. When you go to school, them talking something quiet out, then you're like, <laughs> or you just kind of span out. Miss, I could go outside and say, I'm going to more. Miss, you always have an excuse. I call your mother. Make it worse if your eyes are ready on drugs. Yeah, I come through that kind of stress. Let's go. Keep on track on time. Next. What drives talk to me now you all right take a minute and consider your what your your what will your no man look at you come on your driver is the dominant force in your in your life what drives you that connects you to your purpose I just want to say I want to be a recording artist. First time I heard her, I said like, I've been on this, I hope she don't waste time. I hope she don't feel she to go through all these different norms and different acts to get where she needs to go. Because she has a gift to sing. And I'm telling you, that gift is a very powerful gift. But again, if we don't understand the gift that we have and the people who we are wrong don't understand that gift it could very well be frustrating to us the thing that drive you is connected to your purpose i said i like to talk i said talk real crap i can put out a class of talking crap i can suspend it for talking crap but that's what connected to my purpose remember the seeds in the basket is all confusing you're not sure you're not sure but there are indicators, they call them little indicators that you can know, which means you, you just love technology. I look at that thing in, in China and, and they took us to America recently and, and you're talking about 8 year old, 10 year old, 12 year old, they're already into business. They're like high tech. Not us. We're not doing that. You have to go primary, go secondary, go junior, say go secondary, go here, go there, go there, go there. And then, and then you come back and you work for little people. Whatever drives you, and it must be something positive, that connects you to your purpose. It's a dominant thing in your life. You can wake up every morning, every day, and do that. And that's not for elders, young people who are transforming the world today. They are connecting to that very early. And parents are supporting them very early. For what? For I came down from? What? Not to do my come now, read with my man. What what? Jesus said unto them what? Our model is Jesus Christ, if you are a believer. And therefore we have to learn from him. If he's the way, is the truth, and is the life, then we have to learn from him. And that's his attitude as jesus as a little boy the age of 18 knew exactly what he wanted to be he knew exactly what you were called to do and he was very focused on it so he said what he said my meat is to do what my meat who here like meat all he can... who like meat what meat does you get protein from meat right why does he get from meat you get oil from meat. You get fat from meat. But you like meat. Meat is what? Food. What food does to you? Well, I probably make a big father and lazy sometimes. Guys, I eat and I go and lie down like a big macaroni. 
But he said, listen to me, the thing that I'm passionate about, yes, it's like food. Because some of us, we can't do without food for even half a day. Right now, you're looking at the time to see when it's lunchtime. That, you say, listen, this is so important to me. He said, this drive me. He said, you know what's my need? What is my desire? To do the will of the Father and finish it. What drives you will determine how you will see a thing. He knew very early what was his purpose. So very early, I wanted to begin to what, define your purpose. That's all right. So. What's this here? A doer. Who's a doer? Acting on what? Full knowledge, whatever you gain by what? All written word of God. Acting on it. It is one thing to know it, one thing to dream it, but you have to do something about it. You have to take personal responsibility in terms of helping yourself develop into your purpose. Nobody will do that for you. And maybe you don't have that kind of support system home. But you, once you're at the age of accountability, the same, the same time you take some time to do nonsense and things that are not productive, not connected to your life, not healthy for your life, take that same time and energy and put it into things that will help you to become the best you that you can become. Yes? Yes. Sacrifice is critical. You know, people, people, <laughs> like somebody tell me that you born to talk. That is true. But I had to make some sacrifices. There are times when, you know, I, I can add you quickly, right? No, I'm all of that. I didn't put this in. I went and do domestic house firing because I like that. Right? I saw walk miles. I'm just saying the other day. Because I really like the thing. And there are times when you just have to cut some friends off. I'm very serious. There are times when you just have to pull yourself in. And it's just between you and that thing. If you don't take time off to do it, it won't be done. You have to do. That's why I say, I don't want you to say, um, what we said, I am going to. B. And if you say I want to be, it puts in a kind of lack mindset. Where you kind of dress back and you feel you have time. Let me tell you this. We don't have time. One of the definitions for time is this. An agreed moment to do something. Time wasted may never be regained. Tell the person next to you that. Time wasted may never be regained. Now is your time. Yesterday is not your time. What you didn't do yesterday, do today, now. You lapsed yesterday, don't live in that lapse. It's time to wake up and begin to do it when? Now. Time wasted may what? Time wasted may what? One of the definitions is what? An agreed moment to do something. Say that. An agreed moment to do something. Do something. Do something. Using a dull what? Acts requires great strength. So what? Sharpen what? Sharpen the blade. What do you think that means? When you sharpen the blade? When you sharpen the blade, it will be less stress to cut the, you know? Yeah. Right. Well, less strength, but. I bring that in your context now. How do you understand why? It's in your context. It's related to something that you're too Okay, so like, there's a. Uh, the less studying, the more stress to do the work, right? But if you study, you, you, you know you will get treated easy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
be sharing. Anybody else want to say something on that quickly? You just want to say that? Anybody else? All right, nobody want to say nothing on that one? We making sense? We understand all this is connected to your purpose. When you what? When we are? We are what? To make an informed decision. It is important. Value of wisdom is very important. You will go nowhere or you will go the way you go based on what you know. You want me to say that again? You will go the way you are going based on what you know. So, some of us, our, our daddies and mommies, we are expecting more from them. But all they can give us is what they know. If your mother can't make cake, she can only make bread, she can't make a cake bread for you. <laughs> That's kind of impossible. If your father, do, if your father never got hugged, and never got kind of love and rub on his head and stuff one day, and, if, and his daddy rests him on his chest and say, Sonny boy. You know, as he grew up, come son. Come quick. <laughs> if he never had his daddy hug him up in the morning, it's okay. I want to offend you. Right. And say, son, I am proud of you. Son, listen to me. Hold your head up high. And let nobody beat you down based on your color or the size of your nose. Or the structure of your face. Son, I don't want you to walk the road like you're a poor man looking for something on the ground. I want to hold your head up strong. Watch me, my face, son. I want you to know I am your number one supporter. Daddy got your back. Daddy may not have everything, know everything, but Daddy is here to support you. If you break the law, Daddy will support you in jail. Watch me, son. But well, if somebody touch my one and only piece of son, daddy will go to jail for them. <laughs> son, you're a conqueror. Mm -hmm. Son, you will be great based on your gift in son. Walk that path. Daddy got you back. Yes. Now, if your daddy never get that, you could give that? Oh, no. Unless he learned that? But guess what? Some of us inside wish that we could get that. Some of our young men behave in a certain ways are crying. They're longing for what's supposed to be naturally nurtured into them. But they're not getting it. So I don't know, I've seen one or two adults. If you have issues with the child father, leave the boy father to have a relationship with him, please. Manage your emotions elsewhere. Amen? Don't destroy the boy because you'll create a monster. Sorry. Um, if you want. Like, if I never, if I, if I father never used to do that, like, when you said it, so that means when you grow up, you're going to do something that? That means if you what? Like, if you're doing something that? Yeah. What? Let me ask this. I just asked you. You don't have to be personal. Yeah. If there is something that you desire that you didn't get, or let me say desire some kind of love, you know, some kind of uh, attention, some kind of affection, mm. and you didn't get it, do you think it would be easy to get? You know what? Yeah? I don't know. They don't know? Nah, 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 it's going to be easy to give. But do you think it's impossible to give? Nah. What do you need to do in order to give it? Go ahead, let me buy it. What is that? You go ahead. Change your mindset. Alright, drive to the PKK and say, you know, quickly. You ever have to bounce around and you can group maybe? Quickly. Uh, I don't know what to talk, you know? Well, my grandfather died a couple of years ago, right? But as far as I know from my daddy, my daddy said how he was a good man, yes, provide for food on the table, a roof over your head, everything. But my daddy did not get that level of love that he seeked. Yet still, I'm growing up. I have an awesome father. Oh, yes. I, I can say that. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm listening to your example, but I understand. Okay, so when he said change your mindset, that was, I, that was, I was not going to say. Because my daddy changed his mindset. He said, okay, I didn't get that. I'm going to give my kids that. And he is doing an awesome job. Oh, yes. yes. So you don't know. 
Hurry up and leave school and get up. Daddy, your car coming in abundance. You know what I mean? The best ride on it. No, that's very important. So you see the, the reality. He did not get it, but guess what? He's well able to, to give it. You may not, but you could still learn to be it. Yes? But somebody's go through the pain to become it. You know what I'm saying? So we sometimes go through the pain and then we are able now. But however, pain could leave your handicap. Pain could stunt you and stunt your growth. Pain could affect your good God-given purpose if you don't know how to manage pain. Because why some people could bounce and move? There are some people who just be stunned. Can't move forward. That's why we have the group so that individually may be able to do it. And when you come in a group session, you're able to encourage. And somebody here just got a real piece of wisdom and say, Oh, I'm going to forgive my father. I thought he just didn't love me, but I recognize he didn't get love. And maybe my expectation is so great of him. And maybe, wow, the love daddy given me, that's real love. So you know what happened? I go to him and say, Daddy, sorry for being rude and disrespectful and thing. Daddy, I want you to know I love you. I appreciate the little you give me. Somebody go and do that. Then. All right. <laughs> Seek what? That's what we talk about just now. Seek what? <laughs> Connect to your purpose. Listen to me. Up to today, I still seek white counsel. I, I have counselors. And not your peers who will tell you what you want to hear. Sometimes you have to get people who will tell you what you don't want to hear. And listen to what I learned. I don't care how you tell me. Once it will benefit me, I'm taking it. You're going to both scream, talk so, bow, die. Once you give me a wise piece of counsel, I am taking it. This generation like snowflakes. Like cricks. What's the cricks in, in water? Anybody has the cricks? What is Crick them must be doing no cricks and milk. Anybody have cricks and milk? Amen. As you rest it down like flow and water. As water to <laughs> No Mina. You see, me go back with me tonight. Me like what they tell me now. Me go back to school, but me like oh me to me where I say yeah, yeah. I know he's an ugly black boy, but she doesn't talk to me. You got to be strong and tough. Yes. This thing gets into your purpose. Call for courage. Yeah. When they tell you you can't make it, you have to make up your mind. I will show you that I can make it. Yes. I am determined in my heart to make it. Yes. When I'm mother, father, cat, dog, I will make it because why? Each one of us or booted with a solution. Smile. 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 You got it. Yeah, so what it says here? Plan what? Yeah? Yes, you can have good intention, but you don't see counsel. Now, I've seen some of you, you should only be studying books, but I've seen some of you studying boys and things. And girls, any boy who like you, or any girl who like you, and then they keep it like a secret, run, run. You know that thing on, on, on YouTube? There's John say, run. That's dangerous. Why you want to be all up on me, and some of them want to get all up in you, and they want nobody to know. But the big gold chain that you have, people can wrap your display in it. So how important am I? Counseling is critical. And I just talk a little relationship because somebody get into that real fast. Whoop! Fast, what is it? Fast and Furious 9 right now? Whoop! You just go on somebody like your page. Whoop! Next thing you somewhere on a beach in Scarborough, they meet you hang up so because you went to Meet the man, and when you reach your shock, because you have a nice face like this fella, and when you reach your face, so oh. Hmm? 
it. There's nobody where you're going. So you're going to be on the table wherever Channel 5, missing for five days, oh. But when you meet the man on the face, oh. Yes, so seek um, counsel is important. Especially young men too. I really see you, sir. I, I listen. I grew up with real challenges. I never used to talk. I suggest try to work it through. And talking is really healthy. And in the midst of counsel, there is safety. See counsel. So I didn't tell you because you feel you could be Batman going to jump off a building. Huh? I didn't tell you because you and you, you have a, a dream different to what your mother telling you it should be. I didn't tell you going to be rude or no. Mommy, I went to a session. The man tell me I don't have to. I didn't tell her that. You know? <laughs> Mommy, you see me? I don't want to be no accountant. I want to be a policeman. And that is my calling, my dream and stuff. You don't understand, that, Mommy. The man tell me, say, no, 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 no. Listen. <laughs> see, why it's come so. <laughs> Jesus knew that he was going to do, but he humbled himself under his parents and stuff. And thing, right? High dialogue. Have conversation. Don't be afraid of the response. Do not be afraid of the Share with them. Parents who hear, open up your ears, right? You can move on there. Yeah? All right, I just kind of like trying to move fast here. All right? Um, your gift will make room for you and bring you before great men. Understand that. That's very, very important. That you understand that. What's the purpose of your gift? To serve. Service to mankind thing is about it some of us we get selfish and self-centered who gave you the gift who gave you the ability what's the purpose of the ability to serve people anybody ever go i've been to some kind of restaurant where the service is whack or you have some kind of church you know and it's just whack or you go to some school and it's just whack how you just feel whack and you want to go like a waka I don't call the establishment, right? So one night, I go there. I say, I eat a little salad. So I pull up. First of all, piece of the pepper fell on the counter. You can take up the pepper and put it back in my salad bowl. Yes, sir. And Kieran Fritz is my friend. He, he kind of know me. He watch me so. I ignore that watcher check, man. So I'm trying to say no because I know that salad costs. You know it's my birthday, so I buy something expensive, right? So I'm trying to make up my mind. Okay, I want sweet pepper or, or this or that. Um, you can just watch me and walk off and under she bread. There are my people in here, with. I say, excuse me, I don't want that salad. Give me back my money. But the cash out, what's up? Cash, um, you want back all your money? I say, I want the money for the salad. You know? Okay, sorry, I know I do it now. You know who paid coming out of? She got to pay for her salad. Rotten service. I mean, I let the little thing slide. I said, okay, five second rule. Right? So I kind of tell my son, I saw she paid to the car. I said, oh, God. Oh, you saw? I said, well, that's all right. I let her slide. Now you gave me attitude. Plus, you're talking over my salad. You mark my money. It's about service. Yes, learn to serve each other. And you're not better than anybody. And nobody better than anybody. You ever left your right hand home and walked down the road? And that's how you see each other, right? You bring in something to the table. You are important. You are significant. Don't let nobody make you feel less than that. But this has to do with what? A counter? This... We must all understand that God has given each one of us a gift and we are in this world for a purpose. One day, we will give an account for that. What we have done with it. What we have done in this body as young people. If you're talking about things that will drive you as a young person, put that in the back of your mind. Always think about this. God always seed me. We have any children? We have enough age we can talk here? Yeah? Yes? So I walk in according to my purpose. 
The Caribbean, a big, big place, fancy place. Out of, why if you see people from all over the world and stuff, and why if you see people from all over the Because I've never been in them kind of environment. And I'm feeling important, and think, hey, boy, because can't pick you up. If you see Chica Chica, that boy from Silat, and plus that I'm a Christian to him. So I'm feeling like an ambassador. Why if you see my boy? Just quiet up, yes, oh. Everybody's. Eh? The devil said a nice chick. What's the shape? Where's the best beach over here at White Sand? Pigeon <laughs> Point. Where's the most curvy place going um, in, in area? Country, space side. Yeah. She had curves that go in her space side, but is it Jesus <laughs> Christ? <laughs> Who's there? She behaved like a Christian. Second day, she behaved just like a Christian. The third day, she behaved just like a Christian. And they gave us a document to study, document Big So. So I went in my room, I lied on her. I can lie down? All right, then. I lie down so in my bed. Reading my book now. Next thing. I feel the bed sink on this side here, so. When I look so, she's so long on the bed right here, so by my waist. She know exactly what they said, okay? By my waist. <laughs> I turn up, so. I say, hello? What's that? Hey, she had come to study with you. This is not joking, no. Huh? Every time I say that, I like, she done not roll over my back, so. Why well, I roll up the bed, so. <laughs> I said, let me read this outside now. Listen, the next night, <laughs> but the night, sorry, I have a dead bolt lock, right? <laughs> and I key. I lock the dead bolt. <laughs> I lock the other lock. <laughs> and I put the key in my pillow. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> Did my body say yes? <laughs> yes? Did all the heat and the rain and you won't go? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you say? Pick up something and run. I feel the passion. But here was what I really think. One day, one day, I think I come to God. I want to remind you of this. When man, I don't see any more than your father and the youth leader. And even the police don't see, God take a note. And one day, you'll have to give an account. You see the information you received today? Is putting you in a position where you are now knowledgeable and you will have to give. Anybody have a story they want to share? And when you go to do it, you recognize God watching you. Anybody want to talk? All right, now let me alone talk then. <laughs> you? You? Yeah. You have a story to share? It might be a story to a woman, right? Anyhow, let me leave that there. <laughs> What's he what? What's the ultimate significance of your, of your gift? There's a reason God gives you a gift. And if you're a believer, for those who are not believers, believer, sorry, you are gifted for God's glory. And those who are believers, you are also gifted for God's glory. What it says in this what? All what? Has been given what? Unto in heaven and, and on earth. Talk to Mala, read it for me. Therefore, go on. So your gift and your talents and your ability was given to you by God for God. And the purpose of it is to take the wisdom of God wherever you go. What you acquire in school doesn't make you important. What you acquire in learning, the secular knowledge, doesn't make you, doesn't make you important. You are important long before that. You were important long before you came into your mother's womb. 
You import, you are important to God long before you could see yourself in the mirror and decide I don't like my color. I don't like my hair. I don't like my nose. I don't like where I'm born. That doesn't make you important. You are important because the God who created the universe saw it fit for you to be three point something million sperm and make it. While you had no form, while you were in liquid form, God kept you. Now that you're in uniform, he will keep you. You are important. Very important. Your shell doesn't make you important. You have to understand long before all of this, I'm an important person. Yes? And so the gift that God gives us is to impact upon the world for his glory. It's not for us. So the church, youth, that is, are talking to two set of people who take in a gift and you're playing out in the secular world, glorifying God. I know you're seeing it, right? And you're seeing some of our gospel artists and stuff like that. They're singing gospel here, but they're singing not in Soka Monarch. Because if I get a chance, I go and preach in Soka Monarch. I ain't talking about that. But they're singing back up. I go tell you this song. And they're, they're the top keyboardists and drummer and stuff and things like that. I know how God gave you a gift to do that. Because that is not discipling the, the world. The Bible says what? Disciple nations. I want to let you know that you are significant and God is counting on you to impact nations. To impact the entire world. And I'll just show you, she said, um, about six or seven of them. Oh. God wants you to impact on families. It's very important. That is very critical. Family is very good. It's about family life. If you don't have mother, father, brother, sister, or you just grown up with your mommy, you don't have a daddy, and in church, God placed men in church to help you to become a man. Don't run away. Find a man. Get a man. Seek out a man. But I would have put daddy as well under real pressure. Because if his daughter in this time could share all those kind of attributes about her father, I could not say daddy as well. I do have a daddy. Mm -hmm. And I need help to become a good man. That's right. Remember we talk about doing? So if you want to be the best that you were designed to be, you have to take responsibility. Get help. Same thing like young ladies. If you see a lady, a young lady, whether be in church or an adult lady, and you recognize they're living their life based on principles and they're becoming successful, go talk to them. Because sometimes the friends you're lining with, they're not helping you elevate yourself. They're not helping you into your purpose. That's why I tell you that times when you have to break away, realign yourself, line, align yourself with different people. If you're getting in trouble in school with a screw, move out of the crew. Don't wait until they graduate. They might never graduate. They might show you out of school. You have to begin to take responsibility. I had to take some responsibility. I pull away from the friends on the block. I didn't have anything much. I remember being hungry and God tell me don't even eat from the pot. Because they wouldn't make any money legally. And at times when you're feeling really bored. <laughs> I bring a picture of me. I didn't have fossils. I only had muscles, you know. Now I have some fossils. You know these fossils? Fat and muscles. They call it fossils, right? Q and Fritz come up with that. I don't know where you get that. But it was tough. But God said to me, do not participate. Do not partake. Family is important. Some of us, we struggle because of that. So God wants us, especially to treat you, your purpose is impact on family. What's that? It? A short for government. I don't know where God will lead you. In Trinidad and Tobago, the dynamics, we have party politics. We hope in a few years to come, it will change. And as an independent person, somebody here can go up and say, listen to me, I don't like what I see in I want to represent the people. I will give them true representation. And they will vote for Chantal Lindsay. 
And she ought to belong to this party and that party. Because why? She's somebody of purpose. And she will help you fulfill your purpose. And she will bring meaningful change to government. And she will teach you what is governance, not dependence. And when it's time for two vote, road pave. You ever see them? Community center fix. Street. As you know that you know what's coming, right? Babies getting kissed. But we have to go in there and make a difference. Because we have to take the wisdom and the counsel of God inside of there. So maybe getting involved in government is your purpose. Organize yourself. Yes, as the boy said, get knowledge now so you'll be more effective and efficient. We need more people in government. If you listen to my, what they call the CVD thing they read out, right? You will hear some of the things I'm involved in. Somebody asked me, how did you get involved in all of that? I had one thing in mind. I wanted to take the wisdom of God in all these aspects of life. And there are some of you who are wired for that. You're good. You're brilliant. You have what it takes. Don't shy away. Just be wise. What's that? Media, Media is critical. Media, beloved, determines a lot of things. There's the airways. A lot of us behave the way we behave because of what we listen to. A lot of us just the way we just because of what we see. True media is very powerful. Then you have the new media, which is social media. How are you using social media to connect you into your purpose? Whatever you create out there, that's the world you're going to live in. So if you like foolishness and you're supporting foolishness and foolishness become the dominant thing, what do you feel will happen? You mightn't kill a boy, but a boy will kill you. And a boy will rape a girl. And let me tell you this. You see human trafficking and we're plugging this quickly as I wrap up. That is not something to laugh at. That is not something to joke at. Work out the maximum, all right? So when they take a girl or a boy, any human being, especially for sex, um, as a sex slave, sex exploitation. Here yeah, what they do. You have, this is, this is proof. You must have some kind of service to one man or at least three men per day. Look at that. So one girl or one guy given service for three times per day. Look at that by seven. How much is that? Eh? 21, right? I doing it right? Yeah. Work out, no, let me see. Work it out by 3 by 31. 93 times for the month she's being raped. Or oh, he's being raped. Understand this thing, right? Work out that now by 12 months. Too much don't just see it as somebody get taken understand what's happening and start to use media now and send counter narratives begin to speak out against it begin to speak out against bullying well i hope you're not a bully and maybe you you are bully because you have been bullied begin to use social media as an effective tool to create a world that you will be most comfortable in, your children will be comfortable in, your grandmother. Listen to me, because when you see the heart and the callous and there are no heart and stuff and we're giggling and anything anymore, she's is your grandmother that will kill? Your grandfather will kill? There are no heart! Get involved in media. Some of you have beautiful voices. Don't let nobody beat you down. Do a course. I want to challenge the church and all his youth ministry. I'm sure the folks who don't go to church here, they swear they could see the church on the corner sometime. And when you go there, don't go with the main preacher. Because sometimes that person who can do that spoken word that's pull majority of the people. You are a vessel. If you can do spoken word, listen to me, sharp enough, you can say whatever God talent that God gave you, God wants you to use it to impact on that industry. Don't be afraid. Develop it. Sharpen it. Remember he said, if you sharpen it, ask less effort is required. Wisdom is a value thing. But God is looking for people who will impact there. And you know social media almost free. Some of you are. Don't want them. You want them to create. I see you or something. You don't always want to go to do 
would send positive messages. I hope this is out soon. No, you can't pass that picture. I don't know what is transportation or yellow. So now I see the guy who's trying to be like the same PTSD. Yes, when I see you on social media, you like PTSD, you're the boss. <laughs> Somebody you like, like the sort of chicken, like breast and that. And it's not enough. You know, some of you are for sure. They are hanging out there. Check yourself and figure out yourself. Yes. Use it for glory, fight for the fun. The editing one has very powerful. You can dance, you can be on. This is not just coming out short with our attention to the guy. No reason to suffer for that. If you can go to the, to, the, to, the, to the highest level, just make sure they balance the mood of God. Take it to Hollywood, take, take it to the world, and show them that we'll create it for God's glory. Yes? Yes? yes. Not everybody will decide to be in church every Sunday morning. So you can be in real life, but not affected and offended nobody. I'm not passing out this and that. Because the guy who runs it, when the time to run, he cannot be in church if he wanted to break using both record and stand up and declare that Jesus is Lord. That's right. But in that space, if we prepare, we will be able to minister in that environment. That's right. Chant of Lindsay, come in church, pray, we can 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 because we don't see you often enough. But she only has seen the Lord, she has a relationship with the Lord, and a relationship with you, and that she's accountable. You have to know support! Yes. I'm not saying going over, but God will then give you and bless you with that talent, and they will take it through the nations of the earth. But they're begging for help. And every time they ask you to sing, not even look at the language and tell you that, please God bless you. How much do you mean to get what they're going to do? So the greater temptation is that when you don't know what you want, 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 and then she starts to talk about what you want, and then she starts to talk about what you want, and then she starts to talk about what you want, and then she starts to talk about what you want, and then she starts to talk about what you want, and then she starts to talk about what you want, and then she starts to talk about what you want, and then she starts to talk about what you want, and then she starts to talk about he is the only? And he is the? No, no, no. That's not the first thing for the church. I, I, can, I, I can hear that in the silence of you. Not the church people. Jesus is the? Oh, you just go to church, you have to I can hear that. Stand up. Stand up, everybody. You can hear that. See, that's what Jesus is. If you do not Jesus, I think you're not going to stop it. You're going to watch that and fly over the coast. No, wait, I'm here. Jesus is me! No! Say like this! What Jesus means to you? I come back. Jesus is me! The only! And me! I just asked you this, right? Jesus shared me that. But you want to present it to you. Are you all happy about Trinidad and Tobago going on, especially in Trinidad and Tobago? Are you happy? If Jesus is the answer, why are you keeping it for yourself? If Jesus is the best of the best of the world, why are you keeping it for yourself? Why are you not using the social media, using it the internet or somewhere, and declaring that he's Lord and showing that he's Lord? How does it? And I'm surprised too. It's a wonder that you should be able to do it. So it's very important that we impact on that and culture. And this one is what? Education. Remember I said to you? Education is a key for access. It doesn't make you important. Make it sense? But if, what I'm talking about is, if you need to have a degree to meet Melanie, then that's an access to meet Melanie. Right. Understand what I'm saying? Yes. So it's a key that will bring you before great men if you develop your gift. You have the ability to study. I 
Ya que le venga a tu What happens to heaven? 
Everybody referred to when you talk of one person and they get it right. God's super happy. The same way she talked to the girls and they get it right. But you know what I'm telling you? You feel less important because she talked to me. <laughs> the beat. Important. It was a beat. Because you didn't know so. And I gave it a beat. That's how significant. It is significant in the hands of the Lord. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah. Well, celebration and they put that there and tell us take out the boundary and we are going to tell transform. And I will tell you every day in our culture, every weekend. I didn't tell you what to spend big money and all the trouble. But let's have some stuff in the nonsense. When you think it should not be brother and sister boy. <laughs> and it's not something you go keep it as the people coming to. Because sometimes they get what they expect. And if you find brother or this is a word, then have good ideas. Show your respect. Don't tell them I don't like home. You humble yourself, you go to stay with me. And you go to them, they share nice little ideas. And if you have made this up, you will not be made No, 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 no. But shut up and once in a But you are part of the solution, you are part of it. But business. I want to know what else I said, but you have to be corrupt in order to succeed in business. I'm very stressed. Man told me that was a good idea, he asked me to do something that I'm not going to do that. I'm a Christian, I'm a pastor, say that I'm successful. When I wrote my book, I wrote a certain place, a man gave me a line for me. I kept it, I'm sure he wanted it. How could I write? I said, I'm not going to do that. But it's good. One month before I launched the book, I did 75,000 dollars. And I'm going to repeat that one. I'm going to repeat that one. I'm going to repeat that one. And the meeting has been standing for 25,000 dollars. Somebody said, hey, I'm going to come and check one. I went and I signed up. They gave me no money. I mean, that is two weeks before the book launch. You wonder that I'm not really sitting in the book until you're paying money. So, I went to a certain institution. I think the Lord let me know. I think I'm sure. But I went, I said, I need X amount of money. The guy who can be saying, we don't sponsor books. That, that is not a good business. That is, that is highest. But let's have a more place I'm going to. Put it up so. Because what she do is if you don't have to look there, then I put it on so check it. And I have it so. Don't say everything like you do so. Don't show it. Look at it so. You are so so. If I don't show you, I don't want to know if you have it. Just stop coming back. Run upstairs. Keep my gun. Make a call. Tell who to call. I call. The sending. The info for him. He said, okay, I'm going to take a chance with you. You did this? This was this, this one true. And that's, that's it. Tell me about that. I feel like there's a thing. Do you want to go ahead and do that? That's just something like this. It's not the same people at home. I never. That's the only one. I said, hey, no, I'm going to do it more. I said, yes, I'm going to do it more. Yeah, I'm going to do it more. 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 So I said, no, sir. This is all I need. But, what can I check? Open the shell book when you pay them. You don't see such shame as for it. You don't have to be corrupt. For God to bless him, this is. Yes. And God will make for some good Christian business. Yes. Yes. To affect business. That's right. Because if you are not there, business that you will receive, the outcome of the business will be very, very hard on your own. So could you influence your world? Yes. So the ultimate purpose of your gift is to influence those aspects. That they break them down in several spaces. But that those are the new areas. So take two minutes up and check your own self. This is where you will check. And see in the, in the dream that you have and desire that you have, what that very fits in. You need some good family life counselors in this Family and the threat. Tell me what you teach me to strike the one that they found themselves. 
Here, you bring up this service up. Take one minute. Close your eyes, nobody will drive you. Then I'll take your phone and get the most important thing to do No, no cheap, and no hands, I'm going to look at it. Um, one of those things that I have to solve. Need that commitment to yourself. And God. Close your eyes. Sorry. Okay, come on. How about you? Might be more than one. But at least one of them. And you know as a young people you say, Wow, I'm connected to this. Wow, I'm connected to that. Wow, inside of me. Wow, I'm doing this. I feel alive. Wow. If you like those, Alright. Open the eyes. And you thought you had something to write. You know if you need to hear what you should do to that. I want you to pretend that. I want you to give it to you. Go to the department. I want the department to have sessions on those things. I have them growing up. Otherwise, you really, really don't have no sense of it. Because there's no connection to anything called purpose. And the purpose is being able to give. Your dream is what your next week of God's purpose. What it says, the dream. Say, I say that like you even have this. Say it again. Your dream has the beginning and the end. Don't stop in between. Who's the nice and dumb? My dream has the beginning and the end. Nah! Sorry, you're not going to say it. Say it. Come to us over in the gym. My dream has the beginning and the end. Don't stop in between. Say it again. My dream has a beginning and an end. I won't stop in between. Ah, somebody just got it. Say it again, right here. My dream has a beginning and an end. I won't stop in between. I won't stop in between. All right, spoil your name. The next statement. Spoil your name, I didn't know you were okay. Right up on the tree. Come on, come here, let's go. Alright, one more time, let's go. Call your name, say it like a pro! Sit up there, everybody! Sit up there, you want to get more of Say it! Nothing was stopping! Nice, man, this is good. I like to. What's that? Good. And this is what I want to do. You can make it really Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the issue that will keep the edit point. What's your fruit say? And I want to take it a little from the fruits and see yourself as an industry. Not just a fruit. Going basics. Yes, you get ready? Up, up. Away. Up, up. Away. Up, up. Away. Up, up. Away. Feel energized? Feel the 